Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing, Aquarius? This is Positive Thoughts of Energy. This is your nighttime energy reading, late night energy reading, which whenever you watch it, time is fluid. It does not matter, okay? Uh, to all of my subscribers, how are y'all doing? How was your day today? I love you guys. Please make sure you like and share my content. Thank you so much to new viewers, cross watchers as well. <clears throat> If you like it, share it, all right? Uh, please come on in and take what resonates, Aquarius. If it doesn't resonate, it's not your story. doesn't mean that it's wrong. Uh, you can check out your birth chart. It will give you your placement, your, and you may it may resonate with you in, an, in another sign, okay? So we're going to get started. Spirit, guides, divine universe, I ask you to give me clarity, um, clarity and understanding. Most of all, I need your, uh, yeah, your protection. Thank you, my spirit team. My ancestors with high vibration. This is for Aquarius. Let's see what's going on with your Aquarius. Okay. Mm, okay, the same. I was did a pre-shuffle on you, and I look like I almost got the same cards uh, um, for you, Aquarius. So that lets me know the spirit guides definitely want this out for you. Okay. So what this is telling me, Aquarius, is that. Uh, the first card, you may have Libra in your chart, you may have Leo in your chart, and you may have Sagittarius and Gemini in your chart somewhere in your placements, okay? The first card is keep your heart open. Keep your heart open. Let me get my camera right, okay? Keep your heart open, Aquarius. The second card is lighten up. And your, and your other card, your third card is see the bigger picture. See the bigger picture. And at the bottom of the deck, it is speak your world into being. So when I did your pre-shuffle, Aquarius, what it showed me was that card, speak your world into being and also practice gratitude. Practice being more thankful, grateful, talk less, feel more. It's also right there. Okay, make time for self-love. All of that was in there, Aquarius. In your pre-shuffle, and they come back in, come back out. That's how I know spirit guides want this message out. So what I'm seeing here is that spirit guide wants you to lighten up. Okay, uh, keep your heart open, lighten up. Um, you're being a little tensed about something. Um, I don't know if you've been, you're shutting down. It sounds like to me that you're shutting down Aquarius um, when it comes to maybe just communication, maybe uh, love, family, friends, relationship, connections. Um, you're you're kind of sh shutting. I'm not going to say that you're completely shutting down, but you're kind of off, off, you know, standing off. You're not really fully opening your heart up to someone, to something, to, you know, Maybe this is to a certain person. Um, when it says lighten up, I feel like um, sometimes when we are in a relationship, a connection, we are a little too serious. Um, when you're in a connection, you should have a play like energy. OK, so I feel like there's some tension about something with you, Aquarius. Spirit guides want you to see the bigger picture. OK, see the bigger picture. What is the situation telling you? What is it? What is causing you possibly some of you that are not opening up your heart or making you want to back your heart up? OK, with this card, keep your heart open is clarifying with a Libra. OK, like I say, you can have Libra in your chart or you could have you could have dealt with a Libra with the lighten up. You could be you could have a Leo in your chart or you could be with a Leo and see the bigger picture. You could have Sagittarius in your chart or you are or you're dealing with a Sagittarius. OK, but Spirit Guides is saying with this card, speak your word into existence. This is you. Your twin. Your inner self. Who you are. You make up you. And Spirit Guides says start to I feel like you need to start motivating you know, motivating and, and, and being your own best friend. I need you to speak life into yourself is what Spirit Guides is saying. You need to speak more life into you. You need to speak things, you know, you know, it's like encourage yourself. Don't always look for someone else. You know, be your own 
your own supporter, your biggest supporter, okay? Speak life into you. I am who I am, like my grandbaby say. I am strong. I am amazing. I am somebody, okay? Yeah, speak. I can do this. This would not defeat me. This is not going to defeat me. I will get through this. I am not broke. I am rich. I have more money than I, I have. I am blessed. I am grateful. I am thankful. Speak things into, into existence. Speak it as though you're already in it. You're already walking in it. Spirit guides are saying start to speak power into you. Start speaking into you. Motivating, clapping for yourself. Don't wait for somebody to clap you or to to uh, uh, confirm you. Speak into yourself. So, whether this is a connection or this is actually maybe your family, your friends, is it's really pertaining to your heart. Okay, spirit guides want you to keep your heart open. OK, keep it open, because when your heart is open, you are willing to receive and to give to get the understanding of when your heart is open. And when someone's doing something, it's going to learn you to be grat- grateful and thankful when you're giving. And when you I feel like you want to give and you don't want to receive or some of you want to receive, but you want to give more than you receive. Spirit guys say lighten up. Look at the bigger picture. You don't always have to be the one that's always doing. Let someone do for you. But you got to open your heart to let this person or people in. You can't close off. You can't close yourself off because you're feeling some some type of way. You got to keep it open because that's where we learn how to exchange, exchange the energy to our hearts. Are you understanding what I'm saying? So spirit guides are saying lighten up. Lighten up. Live. Laugh. Encourage yourself. Build yourself. Look at the bigger picture. Maybe for some of you this is trying to teach you something. Okay? This is trying to teach you yourself, your twin. It's trying to teach you how to feel. How how to accept and to feel. Because I feel like some of you have been numb for so long. See, behind that is practice gratitude. Talk less and feel more. So, what I feel like what Spirit Guys is saying, of course, is, is that put yourself in a state of meditation. Even when you are tensed up, upset, something has happened, someone has rubbed you the wrong way, you feel like the energy is not being exchangeable. Spirit guides want you to start speaking, oh, I am enough. I am absolutely enough. Speak to you. I am enough. Talk less and feel more of what your body is wanting to, you know, in other words, don't speak through your mouth. Feel it. Feel it, Aquarius. This is all about seeing the big picture, whether you're in a relationship or whether this is interacting with people. Spirit guides want you to look at the bigger picture that it's all about your feelings, what you're feeling, why you're feeling what you're feeling, what's causing this and think on it and meditate on it and see, really meditate on it. That's the bigger picture. Let's see what the fortune is trying to tell you, Aquarius. Spirit guys, this is for Aquarius. So you gotta, yeah. Angels. Okay. So you have, 
You have the snake here, you have the owl here, and you have a transformation card here. So the first card is the snake card. <clears throat> it says your intuition and healing powers will guide you to a better path. Just be careful, okay? So you are very in tune with yourself. You have really leveled up when it comes down to your spiritual, your inner self, okay? I feel like your intuition is, is, is a lot stronger now. And so spirit guides want you to, you know, even though you are on a healing path and your intuition and your healing, but also be mindful, very vigilant, be very careful about this right here, the snake, meaning everyone can be doing, you know, and not everyone, but some people can be doing things intentionally just to see if they can make you step out of character or to test your feelings or to, you know, everything is a test. And you have the owl here. The owl is a spiritual message. There are spiritual messages and great wisdom to be found during this period of transitioning. So you transition. I feel like spirit guides transition, transformation. I feel like spirit guides, God, divine, whoever you believe in, you are going through a transition. And this is definitely working on your heart chakra. So I really feel as though that some of you need to get a crystal that's dealing with your feelings. That's your heart. And you're going through a transition of really, really uh, being reciprocal, opening up your heart because it has been closed off for so long that you don't know. You really don't know. Uh, you having all kinds of feelings, all kinds of different mixed emotions because you have suppressed that part of your life uh, for quite some time, for maybe a year, two years, months. And uh, you have been numb so long that you don't know how to feel. I feel like some of you are just going with the flow of your feelings. But Spirit Guides is saying this transformation, this transition that you're in, it says reach out for the power and the strength to make changes. So Spirit Guides want you to work on this heart chakra. Spirit Guides want you to work on opening your heart. Because when you open your heart, Aquarius, you're allowing, you are allowing yourself to feel again. You're trusting your inner self. You don't have such a defense mechanism up that you feel like everyone that's coming towards you is going to hurt you. Or you'll feel like everyone towards you has some type of something, intentions towards you. Okay? But everyone is not out to hurt you. So definitely your heart, your heart chakra, you need to work on that even more. Give, okay, receiving, because I feel like you have no problem giving, but you got, you know, it, I feel as though that some of you have been in different types of relationship that you've always been the one to give and you never really got, uh, got it back. It was not reciprocal. So uh, now when someone is coming in that's true and real and want to do things for you, your heart, your heart, your mind begin to question it like, uh, that's the defense mechanism that's uh, coming up. That means that your heart wants to kind of close in a little bit because it ain't used to that. When your heart is not open to receive, you're missing out on someone that is potentially that is good for you, that, that wants to love you. So some of you, if you're wondering what's going on with me, you're going through a transition. OK, a lot of other healing, a lot of other healing that you have done, your intuition, you have done that. You have you have you have mastered that you are in tune with yourself and, and, and it's going to be some triggers. It's like anything that, do, that we need to work on is going to be triggers. So now what is happening now is that divine God, universe, whoever you believe in is now pulling on, is working on your heart chakra. Because don't you think you deserve to be happy? Don't you think you deserve to just like you want to make someone else feel? Don't you think you deserve to be felt that way as well? 
So what divine God is trying to do, spirit guides is trying to do for some of you that has not been in a relationship in a while, it's trying to prepare you for the one that's for you. But in, until you have, you're really fully ready to connect with another person, they will not, it's God, a divine will not allow this person to come into your life because you know what you're going to do. You're going to end up hurting that person. You're going to be rebellious against this person. That is really their intentions is to really, really treat you right and be true and loyal to you. But if you keep your heart closed off or barely open, whoever comes to your life, it can't get in because you got it barricaded. Some of you, you know, your heart's open to a certain degree, but it's not open when it comes down to why can't I make you in a, in a, in a true relationship? Why can't he make you happy? Why can't she make you happy? Why can't he do things for you? And it's nothing to it. The reason why, because you're so used to giving, giving, giving that you got to learn how to receive, receive, receive. I don't know who this is for, but you are going through a transformation. OK, this is a change. You, you, it's time to break those old habits. It's time to break those chains of not being loved. Uh, for some of you or not feeling love or not feeling what it feels to be loved uh, from a connection. Oh, it's easy to love the closest ones to you that you have no problem with that because you know they're going to be there. So you can open your heart and you can love them. You can uh, you can receive what they have for you. But I feel as though what spirit guides are saying, they want, this is coming down to a love connection. This is coming down to someone's coming into your life and their intentions is not to hurt you. I don't know who needs to hear this, but you have the angels are all around you, Aquarius. The angels are all around you. And it says your angels are guiding and protecting you on your spiritual journey. The angels on you, they around you. Your angel guides are all around you and they're protecting you. They're not going to they're not going to send anyone in your life that's going to hurt you. But they, if someone do try to come into your life, they want you to have the tools to not shut everybody out, but to identify the wrong ones that's going to come in your life. You understand? So when you're willing to open and start to feel again. It's going to feel they've got a unity card. They're going to bend this behind it. Look here. It's going to feel unity. Spirit guys is trying to show you how to accept love. Mm, 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 mm. I don't know who this is for, but spirit guys, God, divine, whoever your higher source is, is, is trying to show you and help heal your heart to, so that you know what real love feels like when it comes in. You can accept it full, head on full, fully. Now, we're not talking about your closest family. We're not talking about that because you love them. You love them unconditionally. But to accept someone to come into your life and their intentions aren't pure. They are pure. They are loyal. They are wanting to give you. See the hands? Wants to give you like you give them. And why is it that they can't give you more than, they, than you give them? But you got to be willing to open it to accept and not think that there's a bad intentions. You got abundance coming in, happiness, joy coming into your life as well. So this is a less, this is lessons that your heart chakra. Spirit guys want you to look at the bigger picture. What you think the bigger picture is Aquarius? What you think it is? The bigger picture is. You can be loved just like you show love to everybody else. It's trying to prepare you for the love of your life that's coming into your life. It's the, the divine universe is trying to prepare you for real love. Trying to prepare you so you can identify when someone comes into your life with their true intentions, with your heart. But at the same time, do, spirit guides don't want you to block or uh, uh, close your heart up totally. You can still have your heart open, 
but you're protecting it because you can identify who's coming in with bad intentions. But you're going to allow who's in for good intentions. That's going to be loyal to you. You can identify it because you're receiving it. You can feel the same energy that they're feeling. I'm trying to explain this the best way I can. Unity. Unity. A time of divine understanding, renewal, peace, and hope. You radiate and attract great love. You have no problem attracting people that really likes you and, and people, you know, you know, but you have a problem when it comes down to some of you with, with maybe a connection. Because I feel like you're saying Ms. Pastor Thoughts of Energy, it ends up that they don't get it. They don't get me. They don't understand me. That's why Spirit Guides is going to send someone in your life that can understand you, that's going to get you because you both are going to be on the same, on the same energy. Unity. You're going to, you're going to get each other. I'm just saying. So let's see. Ten of Pentacles at the top of the deck. Longevity. Spirit Guys is trying to prepare somebody. I don't know who you are, but Spirit Guys is getting ready to prepare you for someone for longevity. This is going to be your husband, your wife. He's trying to prepare your heart to be ready to receive this person when he come into your life. This person is going to come into your life, but if you do not have your heart open, you won't see it. You will miss this blessing. Now, this person may pour out to you more than you pour out to them. But does that mean that you that you that you love them any less or they love you more than you love them? No, it doesn't mean that. It's just that they see that you are reciprocal to them, that you accept their love and, and, and they accept your love. And when you accept each other's love, you really, really pour into each other. This is this Ten of Pentacles is longevity. This is a lifelong partner that, that God divine is trying to prepare you for. If some of you are already in a relationship, Spirit Guides is trying to show you how to, how to get closer with each other. And that is allowing, seeing the big picture and learning how to work with your feelings. Spirit Guides want you to meditate on talking less and feeling more. Meditation, mental meditation. Meditation. Also in the energy, this is telling me that some of you are about to come into some type of windfall, some money owed to you. OK. But it also tells me that this 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 connection that some of you are getting ready to be in, uh, this is definitely you're going to have so much together. Y'all are going to have so much together. OK, a lot together. You're going to do great things together. You're going to build a lot together. You're going to build an empire together. You understand? So talk less and start feeling more. You know, talk to your inner self. I deserve love. I am lovable. I deserve love. I receive love. I give love. I deserve it. I deserve it. Love come to me. L understanding unconditional love come to me. Because I am an unconditional loving person. Speak your life into being. Speak your life into being. If you tell yourself, I don't know how to, I, I can't, I, I just, all I know is how to give. I don't know if, you know, I don't know how to feel. I don't know how to feel. You'll learn. Tell me more, spirit guys. For Aquarius, thank you. There it is. Soulmate. You'll learn. This is your soulmate. This is someone that's going to get you. You're both going to connect to each other's soul. You just have to be, you just have to look at the bigger picture. You have to understand your feelings. You have to really connect with your inner self and understand your feelings. Understand what your heart chakra is trying to tell you. What your heart is trying to help you to feel. Your soulmate. My goodness. Spirit guys, tell me more. Look at here. You got the King of Wands. 
and you got the forward card. But the King of Wands came out upright and the, the cherry came out in reverse. The king, the person that is for you, king, queen, however it goes, they have been delayed for a moment. Spirit guys, tell me why. Why is this person delayed? Why is this king delayed? Passion? Trying to make a decision. This king is trying to, oh, they have been delayed because this king or this, this king's trying to come towards you and offer you. They're thinking about how to offer you this, maybe to take you out on a date, offer you uh, maybe a gift, flowers. There, this king is really thinking, yeah, they're in hermit mode. They've been getting a lot of wisdom about you, but they're trying to decide. I, I feel like they feel that you may not be attracted to them because the Ace of Wands came out in reverse. Whoever this king is or this queen is, that he or she feels as though that you may not be attracted to him or her. And that's why they put they in, they in the hermit mode. This person has been wanting to ask you out for quite some time, for a long time. For a very long time. But they're afraid that you're not going to be as attracted to them as they are to you. Tell me more. Yeah. And also this person been in hermit mode. They've been, they have been. Uh, they have awakened. That's why they've been in hermit mode. This person could be a Virgo. Okay. Taurus, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Council Scope, a little bit of everybody. Heavy, heavy earth sign. But this person's just waking up. And they think that you, look at here. He or she thinks that you may not be attracted to them. That's what the decision is about. You may not feel the same way he feels or she feels about you. But they're coming in. They're coming in. He's coming in with the true cup. I don't know who you are, Aquarius, but this person's coming in with a true cup, but they don't know if you are attracted to, that you will be attracted to him or you'll be attracted to her. They gain a lot of wisdom and knowledge about you and they're coming forth with this cup, but the delay is that they hope that you feel the same way. I don't know who this is. Aquarius, this is your card. They're rushing. They're coming in. He's coming in. Oh, you are there. You are his wish fulfillment. You are her wish fulfillment. You're not going to see this coming. This is somebody. Oh, they want. Oh, they coming in for stability, baby. Look at this. This person is coming in for some stability. Yeah, they're back on their feet. They done. They don't. This could be an Aries. This person is definitely in control of their life. You're going to find out. They got a moon card in reverse. You're about to find out who this person is. They're not coming in to deceive you in any way. This is someone new. This is a new beginning, new journey that you're on. That's why spirit guides try to prepare your heart for this person that comes in. This person could be in some type of business, authority, maybe firefighter, ambulance, uh, health care, police, something. They could be, or they could just have their own business. Thank you, spirit guides. Any other message for Aquarius? Yeah, they feel like you're going to they feel like you're going to uh, leave them out in the cold. That's what it is. But they're coming. They're rushing in. I feel like you're going to hear from this person very, very soon. Aquarius. So I feel like that's what spirit guys is trying to do, trying to prepare you for your heart to receive this person. But this person is afraid that you're not going to be attracted, but you're about to soon learn. OK, this person has awakened. And this is a new journey. This is someone new. You're going to about to soon learn. This person is coming into your life, or if you're already with this person, this is your soulmate that's coming. And you're going to start seeing, uh, um, you know, signs like uh, owls, you know, uh, spirit signs, synchronicities. Uh, this person is coming in real fast. They're going to come real fast. Just, they're going to come out of nowhere to you. And they're coming in your life to stay in your life. I don't know who you are, but prepare yourself. Be willing to keep your heart open and be understanding and know that you deserve this. 
I'm Pastor Tulsi Energy. Until next time.